Hi class, this is Miss Durley and this is Unit A Part 3, the last part to this unit. And in this uh, screencast, we will describe how cells make materials that the body then uses. So how cells make useful molecules. And these molecules will be either proteins or they will be lipids, fats. So the big idea, the enduring understanding is that our life keeping us alive happens at a cellular level. So we are alive because inside our cells, they do things. As well, the other big idea that we're moving towards is that cells specialize, that every cell in our body, although they have things in common, that they are unique and special in their function. And because they're special in their function, they're going to be special in their structure as well. So key ideas uh, here in this screencast are cells make proteins, cells make lipids, uh, and these are going to be either used inside the cell or in most cases they're going to be exported out of the cell and we're going to call that secretory pathway. So if a cell is making something to export, we call that how it gets made and how it gets exported, we call that whole event the secretory pathway. The other idea in this unit uh, is that the endomembrane system, the system of membranes, so this would start with the RER to the SER to our Golgi body, and then to the cell membrane, the membrane that defines the cell. These are kind of one continuous um, group of items. They're working together as a team. They're working together to accomplish one thing. And again, as I just said, that if I have a different job as a cell, I'm going to have a different function. And this is a reoccurring theme. And sorry, I couldn't get that in there. There, I got it finally. So some vo vocabulary words to uh, focus on for this unit would be secretory pathway. This again, secrete means to release outside of itself. So this means a cell made something, made a molecule. So a molecule got manufactured, assembled inside of a cell, and then that molecule is exported, is sent outside of the cell to work and do whatever it's going to do somewhere else. Another key idea that we're going to talk about is intracellular digestion. Intra means inside. So digestion that is happening inside of a cell. Insulin is a hormone that our pancreas makes and Structure and function really isn't vocabulary as much as a huge big theme that runs through this course. Okay, let's go. So the first idea we said was uh, the endomembrane system. We really want to see it as a continuum. It isn't, although they are discrete organelles, that when we talk about a cell, we really want to think about as, as a unit because it works as a team to get something done. So the endomembrane system begins with the RER because this is where proteins for export uh, are being assembled. They are put together here. So the RER, the ribosome on the RER is what is actually assembling the protein the protein, I'm going to draw a little red dot, this is going to be the protein gets manufactured here and then it's going to get packaged, we see it right here being packaged into a vesicle. So it's another little piece of membrane that has just bubbled off, broken off or the word blebbing is sometimes used if we want to be very fancy. So the vesicle blebs off of the RER with the protein inside of it and it moves on over to the Golgi complex. The vesicle then becomes one with the Golgi complex and the protein in this story is going to get packaged, is going to get modified, is going to get sorted 
and then again blebbed into another vesicle. This vesicle will then move to the cell membrane and by exocytosis the protein will be exported or secreted out of the cell. So this is the secretory pathway and because all of these use pieces of membranes it's, it's a continuum of membranes moving, making, packaging, sorting through this kind of uh, conveyor belt of making something. If we wanted to look at the SER, we could do that. And in the case of the SER, it would be a lipid that was being manufactured. So what I was trying to think of before and couldn't an assembly line. So each one of these organelles has its own function on this assembly line to get this product, whatever it is, a protein or a lipid, out of the cell. So in the example that uh, is a good one to look at, we talk about the pancreas. The pancreas is a gland. It is a gland that makes, I'm not going to do it, I was hoping I'd make it through this, this uh, without advancing it. I didn't. So the pancreas makes the hormone insulin. Insulin is a hormone uh, that regulates our blood sugar levels. So hormone, the word hormone describes its function. But it is the material that insulin is made out of. It is a protein. So the hormone is descriptive of function. Protein is describing. That's what it's made of. So we already said proteins are made at the RER. So if we look, if we blew up the pancreas and we look at the cells of the pancreas, the cells of the pancreas are what make and export insulin into the bloodstream. And then the insulin travels around the body to keep our blood sugar levels constant. So maintain homeostasis. So the making of insulin happens at a cellular level and specifically it happens at the RER blebbed into a vesicle which then moves to the Golgi blebbed into another vesicle moving to the cell membrane and then the insulin moves out of the pancreatic cell into our bloodstream to be transported around the body. So once again secretory pathway beginning with the RER would be making a protein, rough endoplasmic reticulum. The ribosome is what actually assembles the protein, and the protein would then move, migrate through the RER, packaged into a vesicle, and then this vesicle would move on over to the Golgi, get modified, sorted, packaged, put into another vesicle, and then move to the cell membrane and get exported out of the cell moving into the bloodstream. Intracellular digestion is the reverse of secretory pathway. It's something coming inside of a cell. So a cell by phagocytosis engulfs a particle in our body. The white blood cell does this for a living. It roams around looking for invaders and engulfs them, wraps the cell membrane around them, bringing the bacteria or particle, viral particle, into the cell. And then this vesicle or food vacuole, if it was a, an amoeba, a unicellular protist, will then fuse with a lysosome. The enzymes that are inside the lysosome will digest the uh, what is inside the vesicle and then this vesicle then could release the remains outside of the cell by exocytosis, the leftover waste material. So just finishing off, can you recognize the organelles that would be involved? Can you just recognize them? Could you put them in order? Could you draw them out and put them in order to illustrate, represent the secretory pathway? And lastly, and the highest level of demonstration of understanding would be, could you write a synthetic paragraph to describe how the organelles work together to accomplish the secretory pathway? Hope that helped.